Good morning, YouTubers. It's Monday the 10th of August 2015 today. And um, we've uh, taken off our cob. Um, we're pretty certain that they're ready. We've no idea what's in it. So we're just going to open it and see if it's been pollinated properly. I have a feeling the top might not be pollinated, but uh, we'll soon soon find out, won't we? Brian's stripping off the leaves. Just drop the leaves there, we'll tidy them up in a minute. Fingers crossed. Fingers oh, crossed. Ooh! Oh goodness me, look at that. Oh, isn't that lovely? Almost, not quite. The tip's not quite done. I think we'll find, Brian, that most of them are going to be like this with the tip not done. Mm. Um, the wind, wind's not doing its job. Those were the ones that I was pull it, trying to pollinate. Well, I didn't pollinate them all, but uh, yeah, I was trying. Matter, you know, so that's not bad. I mean, it's only, if you if you notice, look. it's only just the top. And we can See, cut that off. That really, really well done. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they are ripe. They're ripe because the juices yeah. is coming out of them, so they are ripe. So, we shall cut a couple of them take a couple of them for our tea shall we yeah that's good that i like that you like that do you mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good to have some successes because you get enough failures don't you so it's good to have some successes so we'll go and pull another one for tea yeah yeah okay i think we're gonna have to give some of these away don't you brian well i don't know i quite like sweet corn myself so. yeah i know you like it but can't have too much of a good thing. Well, you can, you can get sick of it. <laughs> yeah, but can't we, can't you uh, blanch you, these and then freeze them? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can freeze them. They freeze well, so. Oh, sun's out now, it's been raining and the sun's just come out and it's really humid, isn't it, in the mm. sun? The sun's Ooh. making everything evaporate. Yeah. like opening a parcel isn't it? Oh, no. See Ooh, there again that. right at the top. Very very top. It's right at the top and that is the inner uh, fibres there at the very top so it's just the very very top of the, the oh. cob but we're happy with that. Very happy with that. Well there we are YouTubers this is what we're going to take home for our tea. Um, this was the first one that Brian opened up and as you can see it was just the tip that wasn't pollinated. He opened this one up and it's all pollinated on that one. And this one again is just the tip that hasn't been pollinated but it's all pollinated all the way down. So that's, a, that's good. So I would say that they are a success. What do you think? They'll make good eating tonight for our tea. Bye for now. And there we are folks, this is my um, carrots. Uh, and we've been trying to thin them out and we've been eating the small ones that we've been plucking out and we've been having them in salads. And they're really tasty. They're really, really tasty. And I think I've thinned them out pretty much okay now. And so I'm just going to leave these ones to grow to their full potential. Um, some of the subscribers were saying that, uh, you know, just leave them and uh, they, they will grow. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Leave them and uh, let them get big. Well, all the flowers are over in the planter. They're just all going to seed now, but I don't want to cut it all down because it still looks pretty. Well, as you can see, folks, um, my uh, 
sorry about that. My uh, strawberries are still producing their ever bearing type, and my goodness, aren't they lovely? They are really lovely. I mean, I wish we had uh, taste division um, because if you taste one of these, that's all you'll want to grow. Um, they're very, I think they're a popular popular brand, aren't they? Everbear and Albion. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, a popular brand. There was one that was almost ripe. Yeah, they're still there, producing. And I, uh, I was going to pick it today. It's gone. No. It'll be there. No, it's gone. There's a ripe one there. We, was, we never get sick of the like strawberries. That. It was like that, only uh -huh. it was further up here and it was starting to go red. Well, uh -huh. folks. I've been collecting a lot of seeds of late and these are the calendulas. Now apparently they're self-seeding which is great um, but just in case um, I would collect uh, you know quite a few. Uh, those are the seeds there. There. And uh, I would collect them. In fact, I have collected them. They go a little bit brown when they're ready. Uh, like that there. Can you see that? And that's, that's how they go when they're ready. Um, so I shall be collecting a few more, I think, before, uh, you know, before they're all done. And another gladioli. Um, The flower bed looks a bit sad at the moment, but next year, because I've planted so many perennials, um, there won't be any space in this bed at all. It will be absolutely packed, jam-packed, if I have my way. Uh, it's a view of the allotment now, in mid-August. Everything's sort of winding down. Uh, we we've taken the the nets off of the sweet corn. Okay, give them a breath, a breath, fresh air. Um, because we've staked them all, so if it does become windy, uh, they'll be fine. Ryan's still picking the sweet corn. <laughs> he really likes sweet corn. So there's no one on the allotments today. Not a soul. It's such a pity to have empty allotments. Let's have a walk along and see what people are growing. This allotment has uh, chickens right at the back. And a rooster, you always hear him crowing, crowing, crowing. He's quite quiet at the moment. I think there's some gladioli in there. a nice sunflower. This is one of our allotment neighbours ducks and hens. I do like the ducks. I think if I was keeping anything it would be ducks. Um, just showing you a bit more of the allotments. Um, A nice young lady has this one at the end and it's a half plot um, she's been working on it putting a greenhouse there uh, and there's fruit trees on the plot behind it and it's vacant it's all fruit trees and this one's vacant as you can see nobody working this one uh, it's a half plot here. Well, there's two half plots and they're both vacant. Um, and then this must be one next to it, which is vacant as well. It's such a shame. Like I say, I mean, it's nice land, nice soil. Um, and this one here has loads of red currants in it and it's vacant. It's a vacant plot. Seems such a waste. I feel like picking them, but I'd feel guilty if I did. Um, but it's just a waste. I mean, you know, red currant jam's really nice. 
and you can make a pie with it or anything and it's just loads of it loads and loads such a shame such a shame there we are flowers then on the other side next to the ducks another vacant one these are all vacant here this is all vacant I think what happens is people want to take it on they come down and they have a look at it and they think oh my god that's too much like hard work and then they they go away you know um, yeah so such a pity sweet corn in there Uh, what we've got here I think that looks like um, celery that's what it looks like and this is uh, a chap he has taken over this one he's doing real well but, um, I think he had potatoes in there needs a good weed but his onions are going away they're okay I think they're onions, yeah they are. And then Shirley's plot next to us. Not a bad plot, Shirley's plot, she looks after it. And back two hours. Right then, I think that's us for the day. What do you say, Mr. Sword Leg? My yeah. husband's got a sword leg. He's got arthritis in both his knees and uh, yeah, his, uh, his the left one's playing him up today so he has to take a stick. So, uh, right, that's it then. I just want to quickly show you our rhubarb. We've been picking this rhubarb constantly um, all summer long and uh, it just keeps growing. I think it's been a good year for rhubarb. Uh, yeah, I think the, uh, it needs another pick, don't you? Yeah. Just one of our size of the leaves. Allotment neighbour says that his rhubarb is the only thing it's really going wild. Oh, I think uh, the wind's catching us there, Brian. Let me just. Yeah. Uh, there's Brian with his tea in his hand. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying. Uh, right, YouTubers, we've just come back from the allotment, and I thought I'd like to show you this is what I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I've just written on in indelible pen how I want it and then I will uh, use the soldering iron to burn it on and this will go in the top part of the allotment because uh, we've got a board up there saying welcome to plot 20 but I think uh, I like this idea better. So I did the same on the shed as well so I like this idea better. There we are folks, so. that's what we've done with the raspberries and the brambles. Made jam. Uh, I'll put the recipe in the bottom uh, in case you want to have a go yourself. It's very easy to do and very quick. Um, technically it's not bramble and raspberry, technically it's raspberry, raspberry and bramble because there's more raspberries in it than there is brambles. We were just getting stuck badly when we were picking them, so we gave up in the end. So it's mostly raspberries off of the lot that we've used. Now, YouTubers, you will have seen a photograph of this Shetland pony standing in the car park at Asda on this episode and you'll have noticed that I put a caption underneath it and it was just the one that I thought of first when I saw the pony, the photograph of the pony, which I took myself by the way. But as a competition, I would like you to make up a caption. Um, it can be anything, anything that comes into your head. But it's got to be appropriate to the photograph and you will win if you are the best and I select you as being the best. Um, you will win 
a load of seeds uh, for planting next year. So have a go, you never know. Anyway, that's all. That's all for this episode. See you in the next one. Bye for now.